as you can see I've glued a new bit of plastic on there just to strengthen that bit I'm using a clamp to hold the flasher in the dipped position so you can see the contacts aren't touching just um, and hopefully this will be it I've cleaned up those contacts and it does go on full beam now when I pushed it back so maybe some glue got in there from last time I don't know but um, yeah I mean it's 94 quid in some places for a new unit a new stock um, I've been offered a second hand one for 40 quid um, but there's no guarantee that that won't just be the same as this one so you know you've got to try your best to fix it where you can so uh, let's give this a go and see what happens and um, I'll keep you posted so the glue didn't hold um, this bit rigid and what's happening is this is not pressing down hard enough. So what I might try to do is create some sort of brace around this outer bit to hold this bit down so it makes the switch um, a little bit uh, more in place, and a little bit more rigid because it rides up and down on that you see. And when that is floating too much, which is snapped back there, just wobbles around but if I can press that down it gives it a much firmer snap um, which makes the main beams actually work and also when that is pressed down the contacts aren't touching but when it's just flopping around they are touching um, so there's a bit of a difference there okay <clears throat> back to the drawing board okay so for the moment this is kind of what I want so I've made a brace that hooks onto the small little plastic bits, goes over the top, but with enough room to put a little folded piece of plastic as a spring. Now what that's doing is it's allowing that tab to move because with the metal brace on its own, the plastic tab wasn't moving up at all, so it wouldn't even move the stalk. And now it gives quite a nice clunk when it goes in. Let's see if I can do this whilst holding the camera. Probably not, but let's give it a go. Yeah, so it gives a nice clunk when it goes in, a nice clunk when it comes out, and it still does the flash as well. Now, in this position, the contacts are not touching, and when you clunk it into high beam, oh, sorry, that's flash. Clunk it into high beam, they are touching, and then they're not touching. So hopefully, if I can get this to stay in position, maybe a dab of glue on the plastic uh, to keep that little plastic spring in, that should do the trick. Cool.